Good afternoon everyone, it is Sunday the 13th of um, September, end of our first week back at school with everybody there um, and I just wanted to do a quick update video. First of all, I just wanted to say thank you so much, thank you to the students particularly, obviously to the staff, but to the parents as well for helping us make this first week very, very successful. We still have no confirmed cases of um within the school community of covid which is you know very fortunate you know um i know a lot of schools are, are, are sort of dealing with those things at the moment and it was a very very smooth start so first of all and um, thank you for that we've had our best attendance ever for the first week back at school best attendance ever which is amazing so let's just keep that going keep that going you know Students might start feeling like they need to drift off a little bit or they could have a de let's keep it going best attendance ever and great great behavior really really good behavior and um, a few incidents with, with masks and um, a few forgetfulness with masks but that's fine you know I've had to put mine now on a ribbon around my neck to remember that I've got to put it on when I, when I sort of I'm out and about in school um, but very few incidents of anything that um, would give us any cause for concern so thank you for your wonderful behaviour great feedback from the new year sevens I think if I remember the figures rightly from Mrs Adderley we had something like um, about 50% of them at the start of the week said they were nervous, a little bit anxious, a little bit worried or whatever and by the end of the week it was like almost zero, you know, most of them said they had a really, really good positive week um, and it was lovely to see them and all dressed so immaculately etc. So, just a few updates for you, some of the things that we've um, seen happening in school this week we think hadn't worked quite properly we've done quite a bit of tweaking this week our plans really went very well it's tweaking more than anything else so first of all this was is on the website was sent out last week but this is a really really good document from greater manchester which is aimed at parents and carers okay it's definitely worth having printing out sticking on your fridge or whatever but you know what to do if your child's got coronavirus symptoms what to do if your child tests positive for covid what to do if if somebody in the household has got covid symptoms or whatever so just to clarify what we can't do as a school we can't diagnose covid we can't diagnose covid you know so don't ring us up and ask us to sort of like should i send my child in or should i not send my child in that's the decision you need to make as as, as parents but covid symptoms so it says the main symptoms of coronavirus are a high temperature this means you feel hot to touch on your chest or back you don't need to measure your temperature and this is from the nhs website a new continuous cough this means coughing a lot for more than an hour or three or four coughing episodes in 24 hours if you usually have a cough it may be worse than usual okay a loss or change to your sense of smell or taste this means you've noticed you cannot smell or taste anything or things smell or taste different most people with coronavirus have at least one of these symptoms okay so that is the main UK coronavirus symptoms and then this will tell you what to do with regards to school okay we can't diagnose you know that's not we're educational we're not we're not medical okay so that's the first thing I wanted to mention masks most people great and um, what I would say is the one use medical masks or the one use masks that you can get everywhere often they're snapping okay and if the child only has one mask um, then they can't wear them during the day we do have some spares but my suggestion would be is that you provide your child with a decent washable mask and maybe you buy three washable masks for them and then you know stick them in the wash as the week goes on and as I said I've attached mine now I should have worn it um, to a to a piece of ribbon so a piece of ribbon around my neck linked into both sides of the mask easy on easy off you, you know you've never not got it with you so you know we've got a few people wearing bandanas just scarves or whatever they're not masks okay we've accepted it this week but we shouldn't do you know you need some masks some preferably some reusable ones so they're not snapping um, and they need to wear them at all times the children have been brilliant absolutely brilliant with regards to wearing masks all the year groups now have got badges apart from year seven so year seven no badge Year 8, yellow. Year 9, green. Year 10, red. Year 11, blue. They're all wearing masks. Children should not be associated, be near anybody with a different coloured badge onto them. Or if you're year 7, you shouldn't be associating with any of them. We've got the movement 
going really really well but we get occasions where we have year groups crossing if you see somebody from another year group left hand side stay away from them and pass them okay pass them swiftly it's only we we cannot eradicate movement in a school that's full we can't eradicate it we're minimizing it and we're doing our very very best um, but we need your support with that so the children have got badges to identify themselves um, movement then is sort of the main thing that's the one thing that we're continually tweaking because we're realizing that actually there's quite a few classes coming down that corridor at that point or that or that staircase at that point we've got a one-way system in place if it's not one way it's left hand side and um, so we're doing that and that's working really well um, and the children have to adhere to what we're saying that with that with regards to that my next thing is arrival of a morning we are according to the forecast having beautiful weather okay beautiful weather over the next week week and a half or whatever the children should not arrive early they shouldn't arrive early most of them are walking or coming on the bikes or whatever they shouldn't arrive early we're not going to let them on site until it's the appropriate time that we're staffed and we're ready for them so they then there's no point in them arriving before five to nine okay because if they arrive before five to nine they won't be allowed on site unless they're in breakfast club and i'll talk about that they won't be allowed on site this is sevens eights and nines and um, and then there is the impulse then for them to gather together and to not keep social distancing and then to increase the risk for themselves and to increase the risk of them taking it back into your household okay so they mustn't arrive early they need to be arriving and we're not going to let them in it's not going to be raining but in weeks to come when it is raining i'm sorry if they arrive early they're going to have to be standing outside in the rain so they need to get their timings right with regards to that and then with breakfast club we're almost full at breakfast club but breakfast club should only be for the children who need the parents who need it for childcare considerations okay so it's not breakfast club so you can go and chat with your mates so please breakfast club should only be for those who need it and um, don't please ring up and ask for a place at breakfast club and um, just because your friends your, your son or daughter's friend is at breakfast club or whatever that's using a place that shouldn't be used and the same applies for homework club it should only be for people currently who need it for childcare um, childcare purposes so no early arrivals okay no early arrivals if you are in key stage four and you have a sibling at key stage three and parents need to drop off at the same time i.e just before nine o'clock we have got some arrangements in place where key stage four students can come and work in the conservatory and in the canteen in separate bubbles but again that all has to be previously arranged it's not just willy-nilly that 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 is happening um, and i think that's all i really needed to say to you it's been a great week it's been fab being back at school it's been absolutely lovely the school looks wonderful we've had a lot of outside signage put up and everything it looks absolutely fantastic inside and out the students might have told you about our problem with our hall which has been a bit of a disaster but that's going to result in us getting a wonderful new hall wonderful new new um floor in you know, within the next couple of months or whatever so it's, so the school is 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 looking great and it's a great atmosphere and the staff have been absolutely phenomenal um, in getting the children back but we do need to be prepared for remote learning you know st not statistically but from what's happening at some point there will be a year group probably likely to go home and um, because somebody within the um year group tests positive but we've got you know we've got to do everything we can do um, to prevent that from happening and obviously we've got these new restrictions that go in place um, tomorrow and um, sort of legally go in place tomorrow so um, you know we all have to make sure that we're adhering we're adhering to that so last thing please virtual open evening we can't have an open evening it would be irresponsible for us to have an open evening you know with this rule of six we shouldn't have people on site but we are going to have a virtual open evening two different virtual open evenings and um, one after the other on tuesday the 22nd of september please promote it amongst anybody that you know in um the local area or even further afield who is considering saint anthony's saint anthony's is a fabulous school they should be considering saint anthony's and just as a reminder that whilst we are a catholic school um, and we welcome everybody of every religion or no religion at all so please you know if anybody thinks oh i'd like to to, to consider saint anthony's but actually i'm not catholic and um, please encourage them um, and tell them that actually you know it's highly likely that they would still be um, 
eligible for a place at St Anthony's even if they're not Catholic. Um, so please, virtual open evening, 22nd of September, which is a Tuesday, a week on Tuesday. Okay, enjoy this beautiful weather for the rest of the day and I shall see as many children as possible tomorrow morning. Take care.